Here with our Shippensburg men's soccer preview and its head coach, Jeremy Spearing, and uh, coach last year. Uh, you guys played a lot of tight games. Record maybe didn't come out the way that you want, but uh, you're really in every game, a very competitive team. You know, what, kind of, uh, what kind of motivation does that lend uh, into this season? Well, when, you're, when you have so many tight games, it, it, it very much makes it extreme motivation because you know you're not that far off of the pace. You, you know, if you get a couple results that go one way or another, then you're, you're looking at uh, a big difference in where you are in the rankings uh, towards the end of the season. So, and with our conference being such a tight conference and so competitive, the difference between being in say a seventh or eighth spot, you're only really looking at maybe three to five points at the max, which if you've every game's one goal, that can be a cool, very quick turnaround. You get one one of those one-goal games to become a, a win, uh, or a couple of those one-goal games even turning into draws. And now all of a sudden you're you're looking at like a seventh, eighth, eighth spot. To all of a sudden now you're like third or fourth. So um, you know it's very motivating in the fact that we know we're we're close. We're very tight. Yeah, it's definitely tough because in our league you can win and lose a game in the matter of seconds. So just making sure that you're keeping focused from the first minute to the last minute is really crucial and we've uh, developed a lot of skills starting with this preseason to kind of make sure that we're going to keep our focus from that first minute all the way until whether it goes into overtime and the 90th minute. A big message is that we're as much a part of competition in the PSAC as possible. A lot of them coming in like look only know, you know, they've seen a couple games but they just look at the rankings and where people have finished, where people are predicted to finish, but they don't fully realize how tight it always is I mean every loss last year was by one goal um, every game is a tight game and we want them to know that that at any point in time any game we're always we're always in it there's not a team in our in our league that couldn't finish in the top six and make playoffs everyone can make playoffs and that's definitely something you look forward to and it's competitive and it's fun at the end of the day we're out here to have fun so it's awesome because it is so such a deep conference and it is such a competitive conference, being getting the understanding across to the players, especially the younger ones, isn't always the easiest thing because you're trying to get the team chemistry very, very, very high, very quickly with a very shortened time frame for preseason. You know, so it's not always the easiest thing to try and get that message across, having an understanding that, you know, look, the, the season is only uh, roughly 10 weeks long and, you know, every result matters. Uh, but however, in saying that, you know, there are some great, you know, leaders with the upperclassmen, so they help with relaying of that message and they have a very good keen understanding of it being a part of the program for quite a few years. And so hopefully the message gets across to the younger players that, hey, uh, you know, we have a conference game two games in and, you know, that's a very uh, important game because that's uh, it's a home game and it's a game that w we need to try and get three points because uh, if you can get an early jump within the conference, it just helps you over the course of the haul because as you get deeper into September and into October, it's inevitable you're going to have, you know, unfortunately injuries do occur in the sport. Um, you know, and certain teams get hotter as the season goes on and they get more experience. So it's very important for us to get a very good start on the season. Shippensburg men's soccer coach Jeremy Spearing. Thanks, coach. Thank you.